In this demonstration we're going to have a look at the Microsoft Exchange Server Best Practice Analyzer so the purpose of this is just to ensure that our Exchange organization is configured correctly. So in the Exchange Management Console in the Toolbox and within Toolbox we go to the Best Practices Analyzer and all we're going to do here, don't have an internet connection so I won't check for updates and I also won't join the Customer Experience Program. On the welcome screen next thing I'm going to do here is just select the options for a new scan. So we'll select options for new scan, specify the domain controller used for our Active Directory schema and our various uh, authentication and then just connect to this Active Directory server. Next thing that's going to happen here is just going to connect for or check for network connectivity, that's fine. I've got two Exchange servers, I've got an Exchange 2003 server and an Exchange 2010 server. So all we'll do here is we'll just stick in a label for the scan and all I'm really interested in scanning here is the Exchange 2010 server. So we'll deselect the 2003. We'll also deselect the first admin group. We've got four different options here. We can do a health check. We can do our permissions check just to ensure that all the permissions are correct. We can do our connectivity test to ensure that all network connectivity is working. And we can also do a baseline test as well just so that we can uh, take some figures and ensure that our CPU, memory, networking, and disk are all working correctly. I'm actually going to do a health check at this point here. I'm going to just select on the little drop down and I'm just going to specify I have a fast LAN and as you can see that drops the scan down to approximately 2 minutes. If I change it to 10 it's going to take 4 minutes, fast one, 6 minutes. Really it's not going to take this amount of time regardless of what I select. This is just to give me an estimate of how long it will take. I'm not going to bother with my performance baseline either. So I'll click our start scanning. It's now going to start doing the scan. As you can see, it's going to take a couple of minutes here just to do the scan. So I'll pause the video at this point and return back once the scan is complete. Right, the scan's nearly complete. So once this all finishes, the next thing we'll do is we'll just have a look at the little report that gets generated. There you go, all done. As we can see, everything is completed. So we'll now just review the port. Now what we can see here, we can't find any writable domain control as well, I'm not really too fussed about that, that's for the Exchange Admin Group for the Exchange 2003. So if we have a look at all the issues, we can see we do have some issues as we scroll down here. Nothing really to worry about, it's more errors that I'm, I'm concerned about here. Any of the non-default settings we can see here, any recent changes are all noted here, and information items all noted here as well. What we can now do with this report is we can use this report to now ensure that we fix everything that's been reported back and ensure that our exchange organisation does conform to best practices. And that's the end of the demonstration. Thanks very much.